Hola, papi. Um, welcome back to the Fuck It Why Not podcast. If you are listening on Spotify or Apple, make sure to head over to our socials, check out the visuals, and give us a little cheeky, likey, likey, hey. spiky. Um, so today we're talking about the dire situation that we're all in, which is the tragicness of the weather. I cannot believe it's snowing in March. It was actually warmer on my birthday in February than it is right now. That's awful. February's always like really cold. Well, not this year. Not this year. The Aquarius, no. Aquarius is pulled through. What are you laughing at? <laughs> I swear he always starts this podcast. I know, every now and then he'll just be giggling to himself. (laughs) (laughs) Guys, we're not okay. The weather's fucking us. It's awful. Me and Sam just got back from Mauritius and it honestly feels like I've not been on holiday for about four years because it's so fucking cold. Oh, update on my cruise, guys. I didn't go on it. (laughs) Oh, yeah. (laughs) Got cancelled two days before because I don't have the vaccine. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> don't have the vaccine guys so two days before I was meant to go and went and dollar dollar for sitting on the Canary Islands I didn't end up going Oh. so I stayed in the UK and they were away mm. yeah never mind <laughs> never mind never mind eh it's I what we're built for you should expect this uh-huh. should I don't understand it. how people say they're winter people I honestly Who nothing appeals that? to me so many people, people they look like, oh my god I love winter how no but they're the tragic girlies that love like a hot chocolate in the winter but they fucking hate it and then they're like oh guys just remember <laughs> soon it's gonna be daylight for longer and then it's daylight and they're like oh this is too bright it's too hot let's go back to it and they just do that every year no. year in year out I feel like off. those people just need to fucking no, Die. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Finish your sentence. Sorry, up. if you want, if you're one of I those people, agree. I can't get on board with that. Like, there's no way that you love winter. That there's nothing no appeals. You, you get no fucking sunlight. It's literally dark at like what four a.m. It's not right. It's not on. I don't like it. I, I like love it. the summer. We was walking so here today. It honestly, felt like my knuckles were gonna bust through my skin. It was like windy, but like rainy, and it mm. was like that combo is actually disgusting but also yep. cold but actually, guys do you actually like snow because i love the snow no, no. my mum sister and dad because they've all moved away from me probably because i'm gay are all in about a feet of snow right now in Glossop, and i'm extremely jealous because they're all with the dogs having fun last probably bitching about me and i'm here I'd, and it's raining no, i think sorry. it looks it looks nice like to sit in the front room and look out like the balcony window and um see the snowfall it looks pretty what, but to actually be in well then sorry about it <laughs> just google it <laughs> <laughs> google get it on your tv air, air play it to your tv i do snowfall. that all the time <laughs> um but yeah i i think when it's t- and when it turns to like sludge and slush oh get fun no, no one wants you yeah i've had my fun as a child being in snow mm-hmm. i'm over it the the novelty's worn off for me mm. i'm not what? Yeah, I used to have fun. I used to go down like parks in and Southampton. Go down massive I used hills. To go, they have some really big hills, and I used to sit on a bin lid and just go <laughs> fucking down the <laughs> down the slopes. That's yeah, the so fun did that I. We used to have. You had a bin lid. Do you not have a sledge? No, no we I couldn't afford a sledge. We grew up in poverty in Southampton. I had a well good sledge. I had one with brakes and everything. Could you? Yeah, what? we did all come from. Yeah. Money. Nah, we had bin lids. That's bin it. Bin lids, and also like just a massive sheet of plastic. Like a tarp kind of thing. Yeah. Someone, actually, I don't know if it was in the Neaton, but someone went down a hill on, I'm going to laugh, but I shouldn't laugh, but it's serious, I'm getting awkward, on <laughs> the, a car bonnet. So they found a car bonnet, went down three people. They didn't see a metal wired fence at the end. It just <clears throat> sliced them all. What? Died on the spot. They died? Yeah, on the spot. Years ago. Well, that took a fucking tragic turn. I thought you meant, oh, they like broke a toe or something. And that is why we don't like snow. And that's why we don't. That's like why no. That's why if you see a car bonnet, don't slide on it. Yeah, just leave it. Actually, something worse than snow is black ice. I thought you were going to say children. What what was that series I was trying to label what? last night? Black <laughs> Sophie. <laughs> 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 Guys, has anyone seen Black, black Summer? Summer? Because I last night was sat there for ages going, "Have you seen Black Sophie?" I did think that was a bad name to call it, Black Sophie. Yeah, it's quite but it's not as cool black <laughs> anyway uh, anyway black ice black ice um it's actually dangerous you can't see it and then especially if you're walking down the pavement like no what about driving well and driving but mostly if you're walking because i don't drive so i don't care about i think the snow it's only good when you're in school and it gets you a day off of school that's the only good thing about snow yeah but it never did though i never had yeah it did I used to get so many days off at school. Yeah, school, but like, i mean like uni and college like uni, some never went in school so uni, uni was like always made you go in for no reason to be fair when it was snowing in first year we had so many days off at Erlang because we had to travel so far yeah, we, we physically couldn't get there we actually didn't so 
That's uh, why. Peak view. Yeah. I'll never forget one time we were at school and it said it wouldn't snow and then we looked out the window and it was like really bad snow and they were questioning whether to close the school or not and I was get I am like a geek of snow, I get so excited. And then they had to close. Um and we ended up going home. I had the best time of my life. It normally took me about forty minutes to walk home. It took me over two hours because it was that bad. I had best time of my life. I do like seeing people like stack it in the snow and yeah, the ice. Thing. I like seeing people and stack it full stop. Really, it really does make me laugh. It brings me joy. If it someone falls over in the snow. As long as you don't hurt themselves. If they the do, like it does add a little bit more humour. <laughs> <snow's laughs> as long better. as they're not serious. <laughs> it's a bit better in the snow though, because it's like it's not as hard of a fall. Well it is because you know what I mean? <laughs> No, but like there's something there, like it's kind of like. No, it's fun to fall in the snow. Yeah, it's fun, but like if you just did that, Ice. like if you just fell backwards for fun on concrete, that would. <laughs> what is gonna do well, that? exactly, <laughs> but like. Oh, I remember I used to wake up in the night and look out the window like every winter without fail, almost every night to see if it was snowing. I was obsessed with snow. <laughs> and I remember one time it snowed really deep and I was really excited. Like I was actually couldn't get back to sleep because I was so excited. And then it rained after that throughout the night and I woke up and it was all sludge. And I was oh. really sad. I, I did I used to, school. like the day before school, I did used to wake up in the morning and like literally go, please, 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 please. And if I looked out the window and it was just plain normal, I'd be so upset. Yeah, it I was just a thing. The day off, not and I wanted to snow. what was the radio station you had to listen to to find out the school closures? Oh my god! Uh, I don't know. Like your local radio, yeah. That that was a thing. What well, what one was it, Callum? <laughs> was it different for everyone? Yeah, it would literally be different. Really? Oh, it's to not be fair, be the you same probably got it by station. like pigeon. Came with the letter, ancient Callum. Yeah. 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 No, no, yeah, I think it was just local radio stations. Mm. I loved it. I'd li- we'd be sitting there eating our breakfast. Me, and my sister, like. Also, it, this might be a stupid question, right? But if global warming is a thing, why is the winters getting colder? No, it's not. It's Some, a hoax. Someone did Everything explain hoax. it, but but the thing is, if you look at the actual planet, the whole world changes all the time. Like the Antarctica was once a rainforest. Yeah, and there really? was an ice age. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I knew there was an ice age, but I didn't realize that. We could still <coughs> have an ice rainforest. age. Yeah, an ice age can happen just after a volcano. Oh, Isn't not, that mad? I think things change all year round anyway, right? So. I do believe global warming, well, if you call it global, we are destroying the planet. I do believe that. But, I mean, to be fair, what we see is the weather. We see what we're in right now, but it's as a whole of the whole world of, like, the average, because obviously the seas are rising because it is getting warmer and more ice is melting. Do you know? Like, the winters aren't as cold there, so there's less but ice. But do you, do you know believe I mean? that would have happened anyway? Well, I don't know. But I do, I do think we have something yeah, to blame for it. I, like I there is science yeah. behind what we're doing is destroying the planet. I do think mm. that we are not treating this planet correctly. And I do think that we should make more of an effort to do better things. But this may be controversial to some people. I don't feel like climate change should be made to be our problem. No, because, it's not our problem. Because it's huge corporations and huge yeah. like businesses that actually wreck this planet. But then they'll say... Oh, guys, Recycle. you're using plastic straws. Yeah. You need to change that immediately because you're killing the planet. Yeah. No, that's literally not the case. Like, I find that these corporations kind of pin the blame on us as consumers. But yeah, they can. as the manufacturers and as the bigger people, they're the ones that are creating more of an issue. And I feel like we're, we're the ones that are to blame. And I feel like everyone's kind of buying that. Mm. Like, oh, I must buy, like, an electric car. Okay, well, fair enough. Like, that's good, but it's not going to change a lot. It's something like, I think if every single person, I think, didn't even drive and recycled and ate, I think it was plant-based, I think, um, 70% of the pollution would still come from factories and stuff like that. Yeah, literally, exactly. But then all these other alternative methods that make... It's distractions. Yeah, but, like, it's also called... It's like capitalism again because then oh go vegan because uh, you know it's going to save the planet you go vegan and then all the vegan stuff is so pricey and so expensive so it's like and you're a consumer <laughs> again like you're a consumer always because yeah. they're telling you you need to go plant-based you need to do this because it's going to save our planet but we're going to charge you for it and but we're going to cost you for it to yeah. save our planet do this because it's more eco-friendly oh but it's more expensive mm. and half of the stuff that you even try recycling gets to the recycling like plant and it doesn't even get recycled 
Mm. Yeah, we actually dump more recycling in the UK than we actually recycle it now. That's why I don't yeah. see that. I don't recycle. I actually don't recycle. We no. don't have a recycling bin at our. I, I try and do it. Fair, we I do, do try and do it. But the thing is, I always worry about it because on s- certain packages, like it will have. So obviously, there's a recycling logo, right? But there are also logos that companies have to make it seem similar to a recycling mm. logo. And that doesn't mean that they can recycle that packaging. It means they're making efforts towards recycling. Yeah. So there's like a really fine line between it and like they don't tell you that. So it's really interesting to see which brands actually have the actual recycling thing on it. Mm -hmm. And half of the packaging, it will probably say in the fine print, oh, this cannot be recycled. I think it, what was the, um, a girl said to me the other day that we're the only species on the planet that only change when something's gone horribly wrong. Like, you know how people change their lifestyle once they've had like a major. Yeah. And it's like with the whole climate, because the big corporations know. So do you, like, I don't think they're making any effort, most of them, like the really huge ones. But do you think if something major happened, like, I don't know, the seas literally rose to the point of no. countries, like, because Dubai, how long has Dubai got left now? It's got like, what, 50 years or something left? Till what? It disappears apparently because of the seas rising. It in the desert. Oh, I didn't know that. No, Dubai's built in the ocean. Like, Dubai's oh, okay. Oh, so the sea level were like, right, okay. But all, all the islands that they build in the sea, <coughs> they are going to be gone at some point. Yeah. Because of the seas rising. <laughs> I just think big corporations never change. They just, they care about money. They don't give a fuck who they kill. They, rich, they literally do not give a fuck. As long as they are making money, mm. they don't care. It's exactly like the government. They do not give a shit about anyone. They as long as they make shit. some money, they yeah. don't care. They really don't care. That's like what pissed me off as well. Let's go back to COVID. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sticky topic. Love this weather chat. But um, <laughs> when they did the 50% off, what pissed me off the most is that they like, you know, did all the things of stay at home and there were so many elderly and people that were ill that couldn't see their families because they were literally petrified. You put so much fear into people. But then you had giving people 50% off McDonald's and all this fast food when we have the information that good food kills off viruses and, you know, like cold and flu and whatever it is and diseases. So why? Do you know what I mean? They it also done pe- the eat out to help out to get people together to spread it more. Exactly. That's why they've done it. Because I was working in Wagamama's and you're telling me if someone's head is here and someone's head is here, if they're ill, they're not going to get it because they're like facing the other way. Mm. No, it don't like work a little like plastic that. sheet in between you is going to stop an airborne thing. And they proved that that wasn't. They like literally just put that into place just for lulls. Mm. Mm. There's a that's a whole other topic though, isn't it? And also though, talk about that a different way. I mean, yeah, we can talk about that another time. But also the texts and the WhatsApp like things that I know Matt, Matt, Hancock, Matt Hancock you've been leaked I don't been believe leaked. those texts are real but I believe conversations no, like that I are believe similar. they're real I 100% believe they're real but also why all of a sudden they're coming out they're just hiding something else that's coming yeah. out yeah they're just it's they're distracting everyone yeah. by this to make them look a different way when they're really probably doing something else right now but it's a peak for Matt Hancock he's mm. such a cunt all the things that he done and said in them texts and yeah. ignored ignored uh, medical advice and sent elderly people back into care homes but without testing them. Do you, know, do you them. know what shocked me? Is that how many people actually bigged him up on I'm a Celeb and their perception of him completely changed because he was... Because he a, said sorry. Because he was on a reality TV programme. Yeah. I really... That completely shocked me but at the same time didn't shock me because... But surely he <laughs> needs to be like, prosecuted for what he's done. But... Because he's literally misled and... As what he done with the um, elderly people in care homes essentially ended up killing loads of people. So why is he not being prosecuted? They know the what Telegraph doing. actually posted a headline um, saying that he should be prosecuted for what he done. Yeah, he should be. And yeah, that's like one one that's like never really happened to where like a big media um, company will come forward and say something like that because they don't. They're all owned by them. Mm. They never say anything. Ooh, yeah, I would love to dive into that topic, but it's just too huge. It's but you huge. know what annoys me though, if Matt Hancock, w- Hancock, Hancock. <laughs> Hancock was like Mr. Hancock, a minority or something, or a female, they'd get fucking murdered. Like they'd get slammed. But because they're a male, what race are they? Are they white? Who Matt Hancock? Yeah, yeah, he's white. Well, yeah, because he's a white straight male, he's already automatically got but more privilege. But then saying that, our own prime minister, he's crooked as fuck as well. Yeah, and he's still. Oh, they literally all I fucking hate it. Really pisses me off. 
Rishi Sunak. Yeah, but also he's got loads of money, so he controls. Yeah, the I media. know, but then he had a massive part to play within that whole like. He did, but COVID have thing, you also so. noticed how quiet that has gone? Like, it's gone quiet because they've just hushed the media about but it. There's a whole team that also proved what Matt Hancock was doing, especially Boris Johnson. He was the fucking prime minister. Yeah. Surely he'd have a say in it, but Matt's the only one that's getting scrutiny for it, which, I mean, he should do. Yeah, he's escaped. There was a obviously. whole team behind his decision. Yeah, so. he's escaped. He'd probably be paid off for this whole thing as well. Like, mm. they'll literally give him probably the best therapist yeah, this you can probably find. probably already planned fucking ages yeah. ago. Everybody knew it was coming. And the thing is, as well, with these people with so much money and power, they can literally stop any word being said. Like, every time you mentioned COVID or even had a picture about COVID, mm. you go on your story, it says a COVID <laughs> information. So it knew. So any f- little thing you say, they'll just squash your stories, hide it from the algorithm, and you won't see it. It's like protest. Yeah. Yeah. Why do we never see stuff about protest anymore? Because they squash it. Well, they're mm. constantly changing laws on protest in any way. Like, they're always trying to ban protesting your right to have a free speech. So... Sorry, but big up France. I want to move to France because the way they riot is hard. Yeah, the Fran- I want to riot. The French know how to do I'm it. I'm ready they to riot. Really, really also, do. with like tax and stuff, um, America Same. right now are actually doing, they are getting rid of income tax and just upping the tax on like things that you pay in shops so everyone pays the same amount no matter what. You can't you can't escape it. You know what I mean? So you keep all your wages, but like, I know toilet roll will be a little bit more expensive, but then that's for everyone. You know what mm. I mean? Mm. Not just... Which makes Income more sense tax. because then regardless of what you earn, you're going to be paying the same amount of tax. The same. I think and it, obviously I think it is what yeah. needs to happen. It's and then what about really yeah. poor people then? Well, they won't pay anything. It benefits them. because if No, but if they're like, obviously if it gets more expensive, they'll still struggle. No, no they won't because they won't be, they won't be getting taxed. Yeah, but then you what they earn. Things in shops will be more expensive, but then they'll, be, they'll get help. They'll still continue to get help from the government. Do they get help from the government in America? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think we need to because it is a joke. It's a massive what topic. What I'm paying tax for? It, all of it's crazy. I ain't paying tax. You fuck off. Yeah, all of it's crazy. But I mean, when it comes to the whole climate change with weather and stuff, I do think we are made to feel bad about it. But to be honest with you, oh, I know this is so controversial, but I just don't buy it. I don't buy. Th- I believe that there is climate change. I do believe it. But I do think there's an element of it which is there to make you a consumer again and to capitalise off of yeah, it. Yeah, of course I do it believe is. that. Yeah. So I think we need to be a little bit cautious when it comes to... Don't you think as well, like, the people at the top, like, they are actually soulless. Like, imagine having all that money, all that power, and you literally could control... <laughs> like so many people's happiness and you just choose not to because you just want more money like you can't mm-hmm. spend all that money i don't get it like what are you spending all that money on soon give me I some ha- i'll spend it all yeah as soon as i have a rolls royce and a nice house i can have the rest i'll of be money. so good at spending money yeah but billions oh, it's literally proven that it's like almost impossible to spend a billion pounds i w- i know i would spend a billion a hundred <laughs> like i a hundred billion even i like. would fucking live <laughs> my life like there is no tomorrow so you guys are soulless, just like the You're people. Joking, I just no, throw I money do, at I people. do good with it, care. but I'd literally walk down the street and give people money. Yeah, like I, I always say this. I think why can't like Jeff Bezos just? Why can't I walk past him in the street and he turns around and be like, "Here you go, here's ten million. But so then, that, that him, that is nothing. But to me, I'd be like, oh my god. But then also, that's like the lottery in the sense of you're giving money to the wrong people who don't know what to do with it, and it can make them actually worse. But then also, that's a societal issue because then you've been grown up in an education system that teaches you how to deal with money incorrectly. Mm. I just know that I'd do so good with all that money. Unless you go to private school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then you are taught how to deal with money correctly. We're not taught anything oh, not. about money. Oh, you're not. Oh. They need to start oh, teaching people to. about... <laughs> Unless they you need... go to Eton. They Eton. know how... Yeah. yeah. I think everyone just Thomas needs Moore to know about these things. We're literally Peter. taught the most pointless fucking things in school. It's ridiculous. But we need to know actual how to live. You're not taught how to live. Yeah, but that's the whole point, though. It don't, Right. This is the whole point of the education system that we have, right? It just... It's there to serve a purpose of making you like a rat basically Mm. you basically learn what you need to learn you learn how to press buttons you learn how to do a job and stay in line you don't really learn much information that can take you anywhere you may go on to do further education with something you're interested in but realistically most people end up doing the job they don't want to do they don't want to do jobs that serve other people jobs that serve bigger corporations Mm -hmm. you're basically made to be a clone of everybody else and then you go out and work and then 
you, once you're done working for 50, 60 years, you retire, and then what have you got left of your life? Nothing. It's literally... That is one thing I don't get, so like, especially like us being creatives as well. The amount of time we've had people come up to us, like, why are you still doing it? I don't know why I'm still doing it sometimes, but <coughs> I know that when we do, at least we have fun. Like, I feel like right now, I'd rather yeah. be earning way less, mm -hmm. but having way more fun and feel like I'm not working any day of the week. Like, I never feel like I have work than doing yeah. a nine-to-five job that I hate just for more money. Yeah. And then retiring when I'm literally... Your day's gone anyway. Huh? You wake exactly, up, go to work, come home, exactly. you're tired, eat dinner, you go to bed, wake up, go to work. So That's not a way to live. You you're just surviving. To, yeah, I don't get it. You need to have passion in your life. You need to feel passionate about something and be excited by stuff because, you know, yeah, I, I do I'm work a normal about job. I actually, you know, I have a normal job, but then also I have this and I have other things that I do that are creative and stuff that feeds my soul as well. And that's so important like that's so important to have that and mm. uh i don't know that's what people miss they think they have to go into these you know corporate jobs or nine to five jobs because they think that's the only option because our jobs are the less traveled routes mm. do you know what i mean not many people do it and mm. they're not seen as jobs but let me tell you they are fucking jobs Mm. they are jobs but i think it's because everyone wants to do something they feel passionate about but, but it, it's risky sometimes it there's an element of risk and mm. you know people are worried about security with money especially yeah. and, and if you have like a skilled job it's very rare that you're going to sacrifice everything to then try and chase a dream that you've never ever even attempted before yeah so it's kind of like but this is the thing that. as well that we are taught throughout our whole life is like this false sense of security to get us into the rat race. There's no such because thing as security. Otherwise, yeah, like you can be have the best job ever and then boom, it goes bust. Yeah, like, literally. And There's it could no be going so well, but and then mm. it goes wrong. But yeah, hundred percent. Um, what was I gonna say? I can't remember. Oh yeah. Uh, <clears throat> no, because I was thinking this the other day when I was having a major breakdown. I think it was like the fourth one of 2023. I've stopped now though. I haven't had a breakdown in a few That's weeks. That's good actually. Four. Yeah, I know. Well, that was actually in the first month of January. <laughs> okay. And we were like, I think we're like yeah, two weeks Yeah, but that's January. In. That's January. Yeah, true. You're allowed to break January. down. But I was just Definitely. sitting there and I was like, because I was like, what am I going to do with dance? Like, I'm just over it right now. I don't know what to do with it. But I was also like, if you deep it, we actually have one life. And you can do so much with that life. Like what we do, this is what annoys me as well. And this is also a way they make us feel. Um, is that because you have a job and they're like, you retire at 65, right? So that gap of a 40 year, even just the way they've said it, automatically in your head, you're thinking you're stuck in that job for 40 years. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. Instead of just having, and like the same with buying a house, it's the same with a relationship. Everyone thinks, well, as soon as I make that step, I have to be in that. Like this podcast, we don't know how long it's going to go on for, but we've had a great run already. If it ended now, I'd be happy. Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't be happy, no, but I I'd be, be happy. happy with where we came from. Same with dance. Yeah, yeah. Like Happy that we did it. Like people like, how long are you going to dance for? I'm like, until I don't want to anymore. Like yeah. I, right now I love it. When I don't love it, I don't dance. Like yeah. it's simple as. Yeah. I don't know what my point was, but. Um, well, no, that's a point in itself. Like you don't have to be stuck into something because everyone else does it. Like people say, oh, I've been in this job yeah. for 60 years. You, that, you're next. And also you don't have to do that. Just take a risk. It's like what I said to you yesterday about buying a house is that, yeah, you could lose money and you could invest like incorrectly but it's just another way you're going to learn to do it correctly next time because the opportunity will come again if you allow it mm. yeah. and like i think now we never want to seen as failure because we always see perfection all around us 24 7 yeah but in fact those people have got to that point because they have failed so many times mm. do you know what i mean yeah. it's a brave thing to do a creative thing it really is because <laughs> there is always that element of risk and you know, we've got so many people up against us basically being like, oh, no, don't do that because it won't work. It mm. won't. Do you know what I mean? Like, take the more stable route, blah, blah, blah. But why? Mm. Mm. And I think people don't see it as a, a job because there's so many people that are constantly struggling to try and get into it. But people don't understand for a normal job interview, what you might have, I don't know, you're up against 50 people. For like a, a audition in the industry you're up against thousands of people mm. it's so much harder to get a job so when you do fucking congratulations you know yeah. what I mean? and people also just don't understand the rejection that we receive like mm -hmm. it's actually on a different level like can you imagine going for your dream job interview like five six times a week and we're getting rejected no feedback and it's like it's personal do you yeah. know what I mean? don't even get an answer you but just wait out you just yeah see you the don't class you're released still penciled you think, oh, okay, well, then years yeah, later and the job's already done and it you're still builds on you as a person though like uh, to be honest with you i think you know life is full of challenges and imagine if it wasn't though 
imagine if your life didn't have a single challenge and you weren't challenged at all in life yeah true you how feel like boring you'd would life yeah. be if there were no negatives at all i think, it'd be quite I think it makes you appreciate <laughs> no but it wouldn't though it wouldn't like you imagine mm. having a life full of just complete easy going like just straight plain sailing you wouldn't appreciate anything well i guess it's also how you look at things like because you think how many people have just quit at the drop of a hat after finishing uni, either because they wanted to or because it just didn't go that the way they've been told the whole mm. way through uni that as soon as you've done this, like I remember telling star. when I was um, leaving second year, um, one of the teachers said to me, she was like, if you leave now, those boys in your year are going to walk circles around you in auditions. Well, I can't see them. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> the only one that sees you and Josh and Kane. That's it. Do you know what I mean? Like they're not, they're not in classes like they're not and that's fine if they, that's what they want to do but they tell you this whole lie and persona yeah. and again it's the way you look at that negative like yeah if you go out and see that negative oh i didn't get that job therefore i'm never going to get a job mm. or do you look at it in the way oh, i didn't get that job let me look at the next one do you know yeah. what i mean i just i don't know you I do i think i think we do need challenges sometimes i really do i'm, I'm such a firm believer that if life was too easy then like you said we wouldn't appreciate we appreciate nothing if you've got everything first time you just think oh well mm, i'm gonna do this it would be you don't have any like love or appreciation for anything you do you'd just be like oh yeah it you, is what it is. you wouldn't learn much mm, would I you so, you yeah. wouldn't really learn much i don't know no i get i think i'm looking at it in a different way but now i understand what do you know mean. what i mean yeah oh uh, yeah I, I do think as well it's just how people grow from their <coughs> their experience to have like i think if you look at a bad experience and still view it as a bad experience then you're just looking at it in a wrong light because mm. all the worst things that have happened to me are like the best memories i can ever think of now mm. because i know it's made it it's made me into different light do you know what i mean mm. like obviously the positive is good as well but like the bad stuff will always make you a better person if you allow it and if you mm. grow from it. There is always something to learn from things that go wrong. Mm. Always. And if you just dwell on the negative, then it will just destroy you. But if you take, just take it as a lesson. Everything in life is a lesson. You know what I mean? Yeah. If something goes wrong, you know, like you said earlier, you know what not to do next time. Mm -hmm. Or And like, yeah. it's like me getting lost in Liverpool Street and ending up in a West Fryslip village at 8am. <laughs> I just don't drink that much With anymore. no phone. I've not drank in nearly a month. Don't, because I've actually been there. I've done that as well. I awful. drank two nights ago. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I just, right now, the lifestyle just isn't for me. I can't do it right now. I think I've I've actually managed, because uh, how many times have I said to you guys, I'm going to stop drinking? Yeah, how many I think, I think I that is a that. universal quote that happens every how single day. How many times? But you know what? I think... By saying I'm gonna stop drinking, I never do it. I never end up doing it. So what I what I've just decided to do is just carry on drinking. <laughs> <laughs> I just really and enjoy it. a drink. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna I say. really, no. really, really enjoy a drink. I yeah. don't I don't like I don't like to drink every single day, but if I'm going to an event or if I'm going out, I like to have a drink. I like to go and also summertime. Oh have to have a drink. Yeah, well. right. Let's get on to summer, actually, because I feel like we took a, a different turn there. Mm -hmm. But now we're ready to talk about weather again. Weather or oh, weather not. Um, I just think summer's great. I think about summer just makes everything better, except from when it got 40 degrees. It's just unbearable. It's unbearable. Yeah, but the What's like the unreal. ideal temperature for the UK? Ideal temperature? Like 27. 27, 28. Warm I, in I, the evening. I, I do like a little 32 every now and then. Like, oh, my God, it's yeah. 32. Not fucking 40. Oh my god! Maybe twenty five, but a little bit humid. No, not twenty five. No, That's humid. a bit freezing, actually. No, but the humidity makes it a little bit warmer. I do like a tan in summer. Yeah, so do I. Yeah, summer is pretty good, isn't it? I Go like the park, music, everything. A warm morning. Well, past like nine, so I can still Cold lunch. wake up a bit. <laughs> Cold lunch. <laughs> no, warm lunch, warm evening, and then it starts to get cold around ten o'clock because then you can have a nice cozy <laughs> sleep. So it's like it's a warm day, but a cold night. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I'm like, a warm morning. <laughs> you got a warm there. noon. A warm lunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, true. That's, okay, that is the only downside, because obviously where our houses are built to, like, insulate the heat, because we literally get heat for about one minute of the year, um, it's kind of hard to sleep. That's the only oh. downside. And Well, my flat is built to insulate... Um, 
spiders. Nothing. Yeah, spiders. I have cling film basically on my windows, and that is how thick my <laughs> window is. Yours is literally to push every bit of heat out. Yeah, no, mine is to actually just evacuate the heat. Um, mm. Mine's to heat up the streets, but if you tapped on my glass, it would probably shatter. So <laughs> in the summer, I actually have a really nice temperature in my flat. But I love my flat <laughs> in the summer. You know what? That's such a London thing, though. To have those windows that are literally because made you can't out change of like, them. I think that's stupid. Put a double fucking glaze single in. glazed Victorian windows. They have holes yeah, in. <laughs> like on no on the side, if you push it, you can literally see a gap. Like I basically am indoor outdoor living with but my windows. But why are you not allowed to change the windows? To say, oh, you're not because they don't want to pay for them. It, I already no, asked. Apparently, it's like They're some like of the buildings building, are like listed. But oh, get a grip. I can just put double glazing in it. To be fair, whoever built these in the 1800s probably isn't alive now. And They're if not they gonna are, give a shit then they're supernatural because what the fuck, 1800s. <laughs> I actually think they are still the original windows from like when they were built because fucking hell, they if are... You say if someone throws a brick through a window, it can, would they, can they not just put a double glazing in it? It's not the original window anyway. No, I just put single glazing. Well, that's just stupid. Well, no, because you have to fit a, a whole different window, I think. Yeah, we'll do that then. I mean, we lived in basically a fucking sauna last year. Oh my god! Um, we was, our bedroom was in the. It was like a loft. Oh bedroom. yeah. So it, it was awful. Yeah, it awful. was really bad. To the point where if you even if you're sat down, it's cooler, and if you stand up and your head's close to the ceiling, you honestly felt like you were on fire. Mm. That's weird though, because when I lived in a loft conversion, you know, in Hollyfield, this was warm. No, mine was lovely though. Really? It wasn't. I had my windows open all day, mm. but it wasn't as hot as you. And I don't like the heat. At we night, couldn't we open our window. Like, we had we a wasp's nest. Six oh, yeah. windows, so all the light was just constantly heating up the room. You, did you have blinds in the end? Yeah. Yeah, we had blind. We had blackout blinds, but um, for like the first three, two months, they didn't fit them. Because I had blackout blinds and it literally like stopped the heat coming in. Because that's what they say. They actually say leave your window closed and just put the blinds down. I think you're right. It's because we had so many windows. Which was nice because you had so much light in that room. Mm. But it just got way too hot. Oh, I love that room. That yeah, so I like room. The that squeaky room. wooden floor. Oh, yeah. When I used yeah. to try to sneak out all the time. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, roll on summer. I can't fucking wait. What's mm. the best thing about summer in your opinion? Longer days. Warmer weather. Um... You can even at night time walk out in shorts and t-shirt and it's so fine. It's so, so fine. Mm -hmm. um, you could drink at any time and it's acceptable. acceptable. Everyone's just happier. Everyone is just happier. The bees are buzzing. The flowers are flowering. That is such a good point. You could walk out of your fucking door with a beer in your hand at 9am. No one bats no an, one an, eyelid. an eyelid. But you do that in the winter. Yeah. Everyone's like, what the fuck? What the you fuck? Like, weirdo. Yeah. Oh, I love drinking in the summer. Mm. Sorry, but <laughs> the amount of times we've got fucking shit face. You know what one of my favourite memories is, is that time we went to Clapham. You had your, you know, the two bean bags that you had. Yeah. You had your two bean bags and we were just there drunk. And I remember just at one point thinking, oh, fuck, I'm actually blackout. And then we stood up. All of a sudden, my foot had just managed to like break or something. Oh my god! It was like that. a chip bone or something. I was in so. At one point, I was nearly chip crying. <laughs> no, it was. It was so swollen. What? It's like a, a hairline walk. fracture. Yeah, hairline fracture. So these fuckers had to carry me from Clapham to where I used to live. And then we found a trolley from Tesco, but you know the ones that <laughs> <coughs> you put stock on, so it's just the base of the trolley. The they were pulling me right, and I was laughing so hard that my head was nearly like hitting the pavement. And they were running with me, and then <laughs> Sam was like, "Let me do it." So he ran with me down the street, and he turned a corner. And I'm not joking, this fucking wall. I just oh. about turned my face away, and I went doof off this wall. That would have smashed my teeth in because that fucking hurt. I wish it did. Yeah. That have you got a video of that still? Because I need to oh, see that. That was hilarious. Honestly, when I say my abs were in pain, that is because funny. it was I so funny. I, oh, I didn't dance for three months after that. That was how bad my foot was. I don't dance. Don't ask me. Oh. What What are your favourite things? That is that your yeah. favourite? That's um, your favourite thing. Kissing loads of random boys in Clapham Common yeah. in daytime. That you was really fun. do do that as well. I love that. So but one, one every ten minutes. Only when I'm paralytic that I don't know who I'm kissing. Because I don't remember kissing anyone, but you've told me I've kissed many a men. Yeah. Yeah, you do. To me, yeah. pum pum me. Um, <laughs> like go around the friendship group and just do that one at a time. And they're all just there, like, waiting in line. For <laughs> 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 but they're all fucking critters as well. I literally get the worst beer goggles. Ooh. Beer goggles. Um, what else? I love? I just love the sun when I wake up in the morning. Like, just seeing the sun in the blue skies. 
but I hate the fucking tube when it gets this. Oh, cycling. That is my one thing I'm excited for this year. Yeah, cycling. you do that a lot, actually. I uh, love cycling. Love, love cycling. 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 I love it. Because I live in um, West now. I literally cycle to all my work all the time. And if I can't, I hate it. But I fucking love cycling. I'm going to get a new bike this year because I just, I had one in North. The tyre broke. Couldn't be asked to fix it. It's still in North London, chained up somewhere. So I use Santander <laughs> bikes for the whole last two summers. I like like a little bike ride around High Park, but actually drive <coughs> I know how annoying it is to be a driver and you have some stupid fucking cyclist. Yeah, but they're shit cyclists though. Like I'm sure me and Callum, we're speedy Gonzalez. Like I li- you oh, even cyclists. to me the car's <laughs> in my way because I'm so fucking fast. I literally kick up so much <laughs> dirt. I'm like blah, blah. <laughs> I can literally wheel spin and everything. Wo- wheelie. I remember once I was messaging Kyra and I was having a really bad time. And I was like, um, oh, I really fancy like, going for a walk or something in High Park. Do you want to come? And he was like, nah, that's my worst fucking nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> I love doing shit like that. Yeah. That's a good thing about summer. Yeah. I even like doing that in winter, but not so much. No, because you get snot like dripping out your nose yeah. and it gets caught in my moustache. That's fucking disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> that is disgusting. No no amount of weather can make me snot out my nose. Yes, it would. <laughs> Are you joking? Everyone snots Everyone, in the cold. It's a human natural thing. It's or a natural let, human thing. I wouldn't let it dribble and fucking crustate you on a fucking moustache. can't help it. Yes, you can. No, no you can't. Yes, you can. No, you can't. Oh, just yeah, she can. just uh, like you can't help sorry, dribbling sorry, with your sorry. wee when you're laughing. Can we actually talk about this? <laughs> can we talk about this? There's this guy on TikTok. No. <laughs> There's what? This guy no, on TikTok. no. 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 I don't want to be reminded Kyron of that. It's doesn't disgusting. Like it. I don't like it either. You need who likes that? He'll have. A, he'll just be talking in a conversation, yeah, and then all of a sudden goes. <laughs> And like rockets out of his Please, nose, but it all like you attached must to his have face. Seen it. Oh, I've seen one of them, and he goes like that, and yeah. literally it's like dark green yeah. snot. But that's infection oh. when it's that dark, though. No, he, I don't know, he's like an Australian <laughs> guy. He's Australian. <laughs> that it's doesn't matter. Vile. He could have an infection if he's, he's Australian. Australian and he's in London. But <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just walks around and he just fucking like he physically blows it out his nose and fucking snots all over his face and oh. it's fucking it's the r- most that's why I never thing. get asked on second dates especially in the winter because I'm literally <laughs> sat there with snot okay can we stop talking about <laughs> snot and <laughs> fucking <laughs> bogeys and encrusting now can we just play a game or something it starts to freeze <laughs> okay icicle <laughs> <laughs> just this is just vulgar <laughs> <laughs> this is actually vulgar <laughs> <laughs> oh please can we find the video oh my god it's please let this be it oh no because it's vile guys i will Play it next we'll put it in watching the video we'll put Let's it in the live video reaction. and if you're listening on podcast uh, that is a shame <laughs> if you're listening on spotify or apple podcast head to youtube head to youtube darling um right play it can then. we have Just a get it TikTok clip. Ready, ready, ready. Just TikTok yeah, clip. play TikTok it clip. ready <laughs> <laughs> Wait, play another one. I just fucking saw it as well, and I'm furious. Oh my! It's dirty, isn't it? It's so dirty. How you could know you do that? Have nose fetishes. That and they like open their nose up and lick it. No, what guys. the fuck is this turning to? <laughs> <laughs> okay, can we move past some? <laughs> Sorry, that's can we play over. Snog Marry Kill? Yeah, we're gonna play Shag Marry Kill. Okay. <laughs> no. Oh, is it Shag Marry Kill? Yeah, I Shag Marry kill. kill. No, Shag Marry Kill. Okay, I'm Can we gonna play snog kiss hug. <laughs> <laughs> Can off. we play snog marry snot? <laughs> <laughs> and the snot is you have to eat their snot. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I fucking love it. And why is snot really t- making me laugh today? Because I'm feeling delirious. <laughs> Right, sorry everyone. Welcome to Deliria. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What sorry film is that <laughs> off, guys at home? What film is that? Welcome to Deliria. Welcome, 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 welcome to Deliria. So she's the man. <laughs> Do you not know it? What the <laughs> fuck are you on about? <laughs> I feel like we've just ended it in a fucking parallel universe. Because this right. ain't right. Right. Okay, I'll go first. Shag I'll go kill. Marry kill. Okay. <laughs> My f- first one's is this. It is out of Martin's Money Super Saver. <laughs> Who's that? What? <laughs> Martin Money Super Saver. You know Martin. Martin Lewis. Yeah. <laughs> um, Karen Brady of The Apprentice. Yeah. Or Deborah Meaden. 
Shag Mary Kill. Who's Deborah Meaden? Dragon. Dragon's She's Den. Off Dragon's Den. She's just blonde girl. Straight up dragon. Blonde Yeah, one. the blonde yeah. one. Um, and who were the other ones? Martin. Martin Lewis. Karen. And Deborah. I. Do you know what? I'm gonna. St- I'm gonna snog Karen. Shag. What? Shag Mary oh, Kill. Sh- Shag Karen. <coughs> she is gorgeous. By the way, so she's beat on Instagram. She's what so beat. <gasps> so beat. Her Instagram is literally everything. You need to go and see her Instagram. Also, actually, no, maybe I want to marry her. Actually, because should we get Karen on the podcast? Because she is boss lady energy. Like she's a CBE. She's an, a number one best-selling author. She's gorgeous. She's got quite a funny sense of humour. She's quite dry and sarcastic. You're a bit obsessed with this woman. Now. Yeah, Karen, you regret that I put this on this fucking here. list because <laughs> probably you're gonna go actually have an affair with her and she's a baroness so All actually right, i'm gonna marry her sorry right. i'm marrying karen and i'm gonna shag deborah meaden because she's, she, she's you're gonna switched. kill martin yeah sorry martin <laughs> sorry that's despicable i like how you kill the only guy on the list yeah innit? that's what yeah everyone, <laughs> that's well, homophobic yeah, but you slander <laughs> but listen listen <laughs> martin lewis is not my type if i'm honest oh but bless deborah him. is Deborah is, yeah, fucking hell. I don't know any of those. <laughs> I don't really know anything about any of those people, so Great. I'm just going to take a guess. You can just pass on it if you want. All right. <laughs> <laughs> can okay. I do it now? Yeah, go on then. Can I do an era edition? So people in a certain era. I like how you say, can I do that? That's what you've got written down. <laughs> I've got loads. I've got loads. So we're going to do an era one for me. For me. So we have Fergie in a National Anthem era. We've got <laughs> Katy Perry in her Friday night era and Miley Cyrus in her wrecking ball era. Ooh. I would kill Oh, I don't know. Could I know what I would pick. Go on then. Kill Katy Perry. Because disgusting. that era of music, the Friday night era, not the best. I think it was the outfits for me. The outfits are cool. Not, the, I just know the music's I a like no. That song. And then f- <laughs> shag Fergie in her national anthem era because that is so iconic. I oh, see. I'd marry that. I'd marry Fergie in the national anthem so I can see it every day. And I'd shag Miley in Wrecking Ball era because imagine that in your ass. And no, and then I'd marry, I'd marry Miley because she's quite fun. Uh, I'm on you, kill Katie, but other two for me yeah it was a good one thank you yeah i've got loads yeah i like that um okay let me pick one it's not marry kill becky hill <laughs> you'd marry her diana princess of wales yeah. or cheryl ferguson <gasps> who's cheryl ferguson heather, heather off eastenders i would i don't know who that is i'm yeah, i would heather off eastenders i don't watch eastenders hmm Choose wisely on this one. I'd marry Diana because it's Diana. Oh, have a trot. You'd marry Diana. Yeah. Yeah, have a trot. Oh. I would. <laughs> I would shag Heather Trot and I would kill Becky Hill. You would kill Becky Hill? Yeah. Why? Because I'm doing just fine now. It's over. <laughs> yeah, that's my answer. Oh, that's I interesting. Yeah. Would. <laughs> I think I'd like to marry Diana as well, just because she's an icon. Um, and she's got the moolah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Shag Becky and. <gasps> but then oh, Heather looks justice. really. Justice. Heather's for Cheryl. What's her Cheryl? She you looks really. You want to kill Heather there. fucking trot? She's she already d- died once on camera. Well, Princess Diana is actually dead, and you're still marrying her. No, so she lives on in our hearts. What are you then? I'm here. When I'm queer. You just said you'll marry Diana. Yeah. 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 That's what I just said. But you then you slated me for killing Heather because she's already but dead. But I'm not killing Diana. But you want to shag. So you want to kill you Heather Trot. You want to shag Becky Hill and you want to marry Diana. Heather looks the sweetest though. I can't lie. Oh, I feel like that. she's really like. A she sings person. on Instagram. She's what? She sings on Instagram. You laugh at my singing on TikTok. Yeah, I know. Speaking of Becky Hill. Have you seen the Becky Hill tribute act on TikTok? Yeah. <laughs> no. I looks am like, obsessed. Looks like Sheridan Smith. In like, one of the comments is like, <clears throat> I'm so happy we got Sheridan Smith playing Becky Hill in a new crime drama. I just never expected <laughs> Becky Hill to have a tribute act yet. Do you no. know what I mean? Yeah. Not yet. Like, maybe later, but not yet. Mm. Diana Vick is it's a bit early, isn't it? It's a bit early for a tribute act, mm. but 
Anyway. Okay, next for me, we have Chelsea Lear, Ablisa, <gasps> and Gre- Yeah, and Greta Thunberg. Kill Greta Thunberg. <laughs> Kill that, Kill that bitch. <laughs> Kill that God. fucking little bitch. <gasps> I don't know. She's kind so of annoying. Passionate. She's kind of annoying. No, I don't I know. I so think she's annoying. Amazing. Hello. Our planet is dying. <laughs> Sorry, she... No. <laughs> it links I... back to climate change, killer. <gasps> I'm a Greta yes. stan. She is amazing. I'm sorry, but she is... What an amazing young person. Someone needs to do on Drag Race Snatch Game. Oh, my God. They already so have, funny. haven't they? No. Do you know what I actually know? I'm not gonna. St- I'm not gonna say it, but I'm just gonna let you know now. Maybe I'll say it off camera. But I've got a conspiracy theory about Greta Thunberg. <laughs> Obviously, you do. We'll do that a different week. I'll say it off camera, but let's no, just. No, I think just say it. Just no, because no, we'll be here. No, we'll be here all day. Oh, just okay. know, just know that I've got one. All right, you can. I'll leave that to your imaginations at home. Who else was it? Chelsea, Greta, and Ablisa. What was yours? Oh one? God. Uh, I well, I was killing Greta Thunberg. And then I was married. Uh, mm. uh, uh, uh. Actually, shag Abelisa because there's two. It's, Abelisa. <laughs> it's a threesome. <laughs> it's a threesome. That's oh. quite like different. It's a different one. We haven't had a threesome yet. Have you seen Abelisa now? Mm, yeah, I don't know I if have, it's Abby or Lisa, but oh my god, she looks the same, but like she's yeah. like forty years old. And then marry Chelsea. Oh god, actually no. Yeah, you can't marry Chelsea. I can't yeah. marry Chelsea. No, because you'd have She's like Modi so Because I'm not just marrying her, I'm marrying like all her personalities as well. Mm. So and all her friends. <laughs> yeah, I don't that, know. that is our personality. <laughs> well, <What? laughs> you said all of her friends. I said that is her other personality. <laughs> I don't know. Well, anyway, I can't really marry her because she's actually been sectioned. She has, and she's super. I wonder how racist. long she'll be and in super there. Super homophobic and super transphobic. She's super yeah. Actually, sorry. Yeah, no, no. I don't know. I'm really taking that back now. She was on a live the other day, and the thing she said, I was just like... Was that about mixed race, people? Yeah. I could not believe that. And people in the <laughs> comments weren't even bothered by what she was saying, and I was, was like, what the awful. fuck? Yeah. How old is Greta Thunberg? I think How she's old 18. is Greta Thunberg? I think it's Thunberg, but who knows? <laughs> she's 20. Oh, fucking shagger then. i tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm going to shag Greta, knock some Greta sense Thunberg. into her, and then I'm going to kill Chelsea the Art and marry Abby Lisa. Sorry, I've just mm. gone back on myself. I'm going to marry <laughs> Greta because I think she's amazing. <laughs> I'm going to kill... Oh. Yeah, I'm going to kill Chelsea because she's bad vibes. And then I'm going <laughs> to shag Abby Lisa. Okay. That was a good round. I like that one. Who's going next? I'm loving this, guys. This is really fun. <laughs> you go, Oliver. Can we do an old guess round of yeah. the men on our podcast? Yeah, of the men. Yeah. We haven't had men. Or do you want to do a here. pedo round? Yeah, We've had. Should we do a pedo, pedo round? round? I've got Jimmy Savile, <laughs> Prince what Andrew, the fuck? or Ghislaine Maxwell. <laughs> do a pedo round. <laughs> oh my. Okay, God. that's my pedo round. <laughs> Jimmy who? Jimmy Savile. Okay. Prince Andrew I'm or Ghislaine screaming. Maxwell. No, let's do it. The fuck fact it, why that you not? put down <laughs> a pedo round. <laughs> <laughs> I've done a rich boy round as well. Bill Gates, Chef Bezos, and Elon Musk. They're pedos as well. Um, I would <laughs> kill Prince Andrew. Well, I'd kill all of them, but I'd kill Gaines, in the premise that of the hairstyle game. would piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> what? They've all got money. Yeah, she's got money. Uh, Defo Mary. Defo Yeah, Mary. but she's got second-hand money. No. So Mary, get no. in the wheel. Her dad is... That's isn't it Rupert money. Murdoch? No, it's RuPaul. Isn't it RuPaul? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, okay. Okay, well, anyway, she's minted. Yeah, I kill Prince Andrew. Um, ugh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. I would, I'm going to change it, right? I'm going to kill Ghislaine, but after I marry her, so then all the money she has. So that means you'd have to shag both of the others. In my motherfucking I don't care, I'll just put a blindfold on, I won't be able to see what they're doing. They wouldn't like you anyway, too old. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they probably wouldn't have to shag you anyway. So also, have you seen that they've kicked out Prince Harry and Meghan from their house and give it to fucking Prince Andrew? Yeah. Prince Harry, um, and, Harry Meghan and Meghan got had kicked had out of the house they were staying at. It's like a royal house. Yeah. Yeah. Royal cottage. I know, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think the way the media's portrayed it is that like they literally had to pack their bags, but I think the yeah, it's just not in their name yeah, anymore. That and Prince Andrew like has it. Yeah, that sounds like It was the Queen's house anyway. She, she just said you can have it, but you need to stay there. Mm. 
Well, she ain't going to be using it. Fair enough. Guys, be an <clears throat> yeah, our humor is so dark, but if we're straight men right here, you guys would bag it up. So. Yeah, I don't care. Um, we haven't finished with anything. Oh, I don't know if we can. I mean, it's quite a difficult one, isn't it? Mm, guess so. Kill them all. Yeah, kill them all. That's a good one. Kill them all. Um, Death to all of them. Let me do one. Wendy Williams. Oh, what an icon. The Nuran sisters. <gasps> okay. Or Alexandra Burke. <gasps> oh, that's really hard. That is really hard. They're all icons. Who's the Nuran sisters? The... Pooja. No. No. Oh. Oh, from EastEnders? No. no. The oh. Indian song. The Indian song that we love. They are massive stars, actually. They are huge they stars. They are huge stars. Um, I Pretty would marry Alexandra Burke. Cause yeah, solid, cause yeah. I would... Oh, shit. I mean, I'd shag, but I love Wendy Williams. Mm. But I can shag her. So that's probably why I'd shag the Neuron Sisters and I'd have to kill Wendy Williams. But what? I love I love Wendy Williams. But I that's the end Wendy of the Williams Wendy Williams show. Because I, I couldn't shag her. Wendy Williams <laughs> is a fat whale. <laughs> How can you kill her? All right, I'll shag her and I'll kill the Neuron yeah. Sisters. I don't have a connection to Neuron Sisters. I don't <laughs> have a connection to Wendy I'm going to do exactly her. what you just said. I'm agreeing. I think I'd do the same as well. Thank you. Ooh, that's unanimous. Round. Easy round. Um, Next. Okay. Gok Wan. <laughs> RuPaul <laughs> and Philip Schofield. Oh, it's a gay boy edition. I'd marry Ru because they're rich. Mm -hmm. But they also do oil fracking, so. Mm. Um, I don't want to mm, shag I either of them. Star. <laughs> I don't want to shag either of them. Got Quan would be a good solid contender for marriage because he's he's a nice guy. He's a DJ, which is quite cool. He knows how to look good because he's a stylist. How to look good how naked. How to look good naked as well. Oh, yeah, I remember that. So yeah. that means you'd have to shag Rue in or out of drag? Both. Uh, <laughs> out. Out of drag. Out of drag. He might be hung. <laughs> Do you reckon he can get it up still? He's not that old. Wow. He he's is. 70. He's not. He is. He's like nearly 80. Yeah. No, he's not. Oh, yes, he how old is. is RuPaul? He look that old. Yeah. Oh, 62. Yeah, thank so you. Still way older than I thought, though. What do you think, 34? No, I think he's 50. Like <laughs> I thought, I thought Rue was like 72. 30. That's insane. Nah. I don't know, yeah, but I think Viagra, isn't it? Mm. Uh, yeah, so marry Gokwan, shag Rue Paul, and then kill Philip Schofield. Cause I, I think I'd do yeah. that, but I'd marry Rue Paul. Okay. Have you seen RuPaul's house? You can Google it. It's fucking huge. Yeah, yeah. it's huge. Isn't I it? think Gok would be quite humble to be married to. Mm. Yeah, I'm Gok. think. I'm thinking of it really deeply now. I think yeah, I want to marry. Yeah, imagine him. like the legends that RuPaul knows, like legends. <laughs> I just licked the mic by doing that. So. Um. Right. Let's do an old guest round. Okay. So we have Victor Kunda. <gasps> Love Victor. Match. Yeah. And let's munch. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. I'd marry let's munch. Sorry. <coughs> yeah. No, benefits. He know, and Bia knows that as well. Benefits of marrying Bartek is he's a great chef. Incredible. Yeah. Got to marry Bartek. Sorry. Yeah. Chef. No, but he's he also really chef nice. Bia was telling me about. Remember when we were at the restaurant and telling about all the nice things he does for us. Yeah, but that's a given. He's a lovely guy. Oh, but this is a hard one. Really. They're, they're all lovely guys, but he is a chef. You, you to be fair, dinner's cooked to you every single night. To be every fair, night. I don't much know much more about Victor or Match, so that is a bit unbiased. Oh but. shit, this is really difficult because I can cook myself. I am quite a good yeah, cook but not anyway. Like he can. So no, I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is, I can sustain myself enough that I don't need a marry to marry a chef. So I'm thinking maybe I could. Yeah, but I'm good at oven food, but I'd still like someone to cook for me. Yeah, but what about last night you got in, you didn't want to cook? He would have cooked for you already. Exactly. Yeah, but that's all right. That's a one-off, because I always cook. I think... <sighs> oh, because I'm thinking maybe I could marry Victor. Victor I think is I would, beautiful. I think I'd marry a match. Bartek, Shag Victor, and have to kill Match. Sorry. Oh, yeah, but Match, match is, is too stunning. tall for me. He's way too tall. To be fair, I do like a taller person. I yeah, think he is huge. Yeah, but I'm thinking I want to... In a good way, but I think I, I want think to Shag I'd Match. Do you? I think I agree. I think I, yeah. 
There's something about him that's mysterious. He's got a nice... Actually, could, I could marry Match. Uh, what the fuck? No, I'm marrying Match. Why do you... I'm gonna... Sh oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna shag Bartek. Oh. I'm gonna have to kill Victor. <gasps> no. But I know, um. I know. I don't want to. Sorry, Victor. I don't want to kill you. <laughs> I don't want to kill you. In fact... Quite the opposite, but <laughs> I want to fuck. You. I want to fuck you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would marry Bartek just because of what I heard from Bia that he is literally treats her like a fucking princess, and I want to be treated like a princess. Did you hear all that as well, Sam? Did I hear what? 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 Um, yeah, we're at the restaurant that. together. Oh, we should take some notes here. You what? Could have took some notes. Here. What do you mean notes? He's About basically saying that I'm not a great. Oh, to Sam, be. I'm not great to be with. Well, oh, don't start this I conversation. I have not said oh. that. Well, anyway, I'm still doing that. mine. Do you know what? I actually, I have offered to cook for Kyron multiple times, but unfortunately, his diet consists of chicken nuggets and chips. No, Bartek so there's not goes really much. more length than that. Like Thank Bartek. You. No, listen to what he does, right? So he comes over, and when they bring the wine over, they're like, would you like to try? And he's like, as long as she's happy, I'm happy. So he lets her try it. And then now, like, he gets all the food, and he'll order for her, like, literally loads of the menu, because he knows exactly what she likes. Like, oh, it's so cute. Just loads of things like that. And that is good. That is great. I love that. I want to be treated like a fucking bitch, brother. <laughs> it's bad. Yeah, same. Anyway, marry Bartek. Do I tell you that? Marry Bartek. I would shag Victor, but he is like more or less my type anyway, so what do you expect? And then I would have to kill Match. Sorry, Match. Sorry. But if there was a marry shag shag, you'd be the second. <laughs> uh, it's the, I'm regretting my decisions now. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's written in Basically, stone. Basically, what I'm trying to say is I want to shag them all. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Well, that's a good turn. But also, actually, <laughs> Victor, Victor is like vibes. Like mm. vibes. It's vibes. Victor is a fucking good laugh. So I feel like I could marry, marry Victor as well. Yeah. I feel like I could... That was a very hard round. Yeah, it was that really was a hard. hard I could marry and, and right shag now. them all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we've got to do the females. Oh. Three. I've already how picked can we pick? How can we pick three out of who we've already had? I've already really said hard. my Just Millie, Chloe three. and Maddie. Oh, you couldn't do that. Millie, Chloe and Maddie. I would... <laughs> you, wait. Oh. You can't put... You can't put Chloe and Millie. To be fair, yeah, I think oh, we need. I, I think I think we need to separate Chloe and Millie. Yeah, you need to separate Chloe and Millie. That's not fair. And Maddie. Oh, well, you yeah. said all of them. It's so <laughs> hard. All of these people are like our favourite people. Yeah. Fuck. It's the killing that I can do. The I can kill, kill any, of, any them. of them. I love them. And I think I'd actually marry all really? of them because they're all. <laughs> 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 That's getting put in. If you drop that out, I'll be fuming. Say it with. <laughs> say it, no, they do. They do hit. Pick up what you say. Say it with fucking chess. Now. Hold on. Hold on. So who we we need to pick three people. We can't do Georgia Wood because she's not into it. Do you know anyway. who comes to mind first of all before you even pick anyone who I would one hundred percent marry? Who? Liberty. Oh, oh yeah. I love her. And My mum is her. obsessed with Liberty. She loves her. So lovely. Well, who are we picking then? Okay. Millie, um, Chloe, Maddie. <laughs> no, you can't do that. It's That's hard really hard. No, you can't Because I that. can't kill any of them. You can't do that. Um, or at least separate Millie and Chloe. That makes it easier. Why? Well, so you can pick someone else to kill? <laughs> Ooh, who else? <laughs> yeah, literally. We We're not killing kill. Maddie or... <laughs> We need someone to kill. Okay, so Millie and Chloe are and now duo. an actual duo, just like Ablisa. Yes. Very similar, <laughs> if you ask me, actually. <laughs> and then Maddie, and then we need one more girl. We've got, we've got, who can we choose from? Ash? Oh, Liberty. let's do Ash. That'd be really hard. Ash? Ash. Oh, fuck, that means we've still got to kill someone. I think <laughs> I'm shagging Ash. Hands down, I'm shagging Ash. She would be a wild shag. Yeah. I Ash could I'd just throw Ash. it down. Oh, fuck. But then I can't. This is we can't kill anyone. We no, can't we kill can't. anyone. I think, no, actually. Oh, no, I could marry all of them. Yeah, but actually, yeah. what about threesome of Chloe and Millie? Yeah, that's fucking They'd hot. fucking destroy me. I'm sorry, but Chloe would annihilate the fuck out of me. <laughs> yeah, I feel she like Chloe really And I would. love that for her. Yeah. I reckon Millie would throw you around. Uh, yeah, no, but I feel like <laughs> Millie would be like <laughs> yeah. a dominatrix. I feel like she would like... Yeah. She would get a whip out. She'd, yeah. she'd peg you. 
and she'd have a hot she outfit would. as well. I feel like yeah, and she would have really good outfits. She's yeah. so fashionable. But then also, I feel like I'd, Maddie I'd ha- and I'd Ash have would to, do that. I'd as have well. to marry Maddie because we laugh way too much every single yeah, day. Yeah, you and Maddie get along like house on fire. Mm. But I can kill Ash. But for the premise of the game, I'm gonna have to. Okay, kill you and go, kill myself so we can go, be together. Here you go, here you go, life. here you go, right? So How about that? <laughs> I'm gonna marry Maddie. Yeah. I'm gonna shag Chloe and Millie, and then I'm gonna kill Ash, but the method of killing her is by fucking her to death. <laughs> <laughs> because oh she's so God. hot. You know that's rape. No, she consented <laughs> to it, but then she dies midway through. I think that's kind like of someone like she has a, she has she has a nut rape. allergy she has a nut that's allergy and then like someone walks in the room and like, eating a packet of peanuts oh shit dead so on very that planned I think no she knows it's gonna happen to I tell her before by the way you know if you shag me you're gonna die because I'm gonna like do you so hard and she's like oh it's fine I just I want it I want it and then and then we <laughs> have <laughs> Ash if you're listening I love you. This I would do clip. the same choice as you, but <laughs> I would then kill myself because the riot me and Ash will cause in the underworld would be incredible. <laughs> you guys as ghosts would be fucking chaos. She, we would actually fuck shit up. We'd have the best time. So, oh, sorry. I love this little segment today. This has been really fun. I, <laughs> I don't know what I'd do. I really don't know what I'd do. It's I tough. think. I mean. You get two for one, well, the choices, so they've kind of guaranteed I think I'd, safety. I'd marry Chloe and Millie because then you have two people and they both kind of counterbalance each other. Like, they can both be wild but also really calm. So you always have someone next to you, do you know what I mean? Mm. And then... I don't know. It's really hard. It's really tough. Obviously, I don't want to kill Ash at all, but if it means that I get to still, you know, shag her, <laughs> then that is what it has to be. And she would understand. I know she would understand. She'd like to get fucked to death. Actually. She would. I know she would. She'd be gagging for that. Yeah. Actually. She'd be in a knee high stiletto as yeah. well. Absolutely. And it would suit. be. A, it would be at the box, and it would It'd just be, be at the great. box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Final resting place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. I guess that concludes it then, guys. It does. We've hit a lot of topics today. I we must have. Say. I hope you enjoyed and it. A lot of G spots, clearly. I've had a blast. I'm be interested to see the title for this one. Yeah. Sam fucks Ash to death. <laughs> <laughs> Boys talk weather. Yeah. Look, we went from weather. Ash to death. <laughs> <laughs> we went really serious, didn't we? Oh, we God. do. We do oh. like to get a little bit serious, don't we? Oh. We do. But I we have fun. We had fun. So thank you so much for listening and tune back in next week where we're actually going to have our next episode. We've Ooh. got a sidekick We've medium. Got a sidekick medium coming up, guys. I'm so excited, but also a bit scared. I'm terrified. I'm but also, like, if it doesn't go right, I'm actually going to say, no, that's not true. Yeah, we're going to give I'm you the No tea. cap. That boy is a cap. Drr. Do you think we can do a Ouija board? No. Yeah. Anyway, on that note, we're cancelling that out. Okay. Yeah, Come yeah, back yeah. next week. Love you all. Bye. Bye. Love you.